cottons and matching knits. J.C. Penney gives you all the extras, from tops at $8.99 and $9.99 to bottoms at $7.99 and $12.99, and zips up the look at $16.99. Explore the values during Fashion Expo at Bay Area J.C. Penney Stores. Great moments for you on Channel 5. Now, Dave McElhatton, Wendy Takuda, Wayne Walker on sports, and Joel Bartlett with weather. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Good evening. Topping Nightcast tonight, the thousands of aftershocks that continue to shudder through quake-ravaged Kalinga. Some of them measuring as high as four on the Richter scale. They haven't stopped since yesterday's earthquake that all but destroyed the valley town. The people of Kalinga constantly reminded of their fear of another big one. Miranda Dunn found some of those people so scared they're leaving town. As the sun set over battered Kalinga tonight, it was an eerie sight. Downtown streets are almost empty. Local officials are using tight security to keep people out of the area, both because of the fear of looting and the danger from falling pieces of damaged buildings. But other parts of town are full of activity. Hundreds of emergency crews are still on duty, most working long, exhausting hours. The uh, ambulance crews that are in this area are also fire department personnel, and they've been working all night, and they're pretty tired, so we're providing some sort of service for the city until things can get restored to normal. For some, the thought of another night full of fear is too much. These people are packing and plan to leave town. We're very afraid of something happens again, and we just move in this way. You just don't want to spend another no, night here? not here. But all night long, the work crews will be here trying to repair the damage done by that huge quake. The work goes on day and night. Everywhere, there are signs that life is slowly being put back together. But there's no question it will be a long process. In Kalinga, I'm Miranda Dunn, Channel 5 Eyewitness News, Nightcast. Right now, about 75% of the people in Kalinga have their electricity back on, but the gas is still off and probably will be for another week. Last night, in our report from Kalinga, we told you about a man whose 11-year-old son was missing. They had been searching frantically and had only found the boy's bike. Well, tonight, we're happy to report that the boy was found a few hours later, safe and sound. Wendy? Kalinga wasn't the only place hit by that earthquake. Tonight, we're getting a chance to see how Avenal was shaken up by it. It's only 15 miles south of Kalinga. The damage there is nowhere near as bad as in Kalinga, but store windows were smashed here. They have been boarded up now. Some buildings were knocked off their foundations. A few people were hurt, but nobody seriously. Maybe days before we know the total amount of damage in Kalinga and Avenal, the estimates tonight 300 homes in Kolinga so badly damaged they can't be lived in anymore. The downtown was practically leveled. It will probably be bulldozed. The damage estimate in the downtown area of Kolinga alone is more than $25 million. The earthquake victims in Kolinga will be getting some help from the state. Governor George Duke Majin has declared the area a disaster area, and that means that people there can get financial help from the state to rebuild. A special team is in that town right now to assess the damage. Well, that financial aid may be coming, but for a lot of people, they're still homeless in Kalinga right now. For the second night in a row, the Comer family, all seven of them, are spending the night in their front yard. The floor in the house still shakes when you walk on it, and they say they're afraid to go inside. But in spite of all they've been through, the family is handling it amazingly well. Oh, you really don't have much choice of what kind of, what kind of... You know, you can be down if you want to be, but you don't have any choice of what what comes to you. You just take what it, what comes and try to do the best you can with what you got. That's really about all there is to it. You can, no sense sitting around. You know, I, I'm, I feel real fortunate that my whole family has come through this. One big problem for the Comer family and others camping out is how to cook their food. Tomorrow, the Red Cross is going to bring in a portable kitchen to help those people out. Dave. If you have family in Kalinga and you want to make sure that they're okay, you can call the Red Cross in Fresno. That number, you see it here, area code 209-486-0701. You should ask to make a welfare inquiry. If you'd like to help out the victims of the Kalinga quake, you can call your local Red Cross. They say what they need most is money. Just tell them it's for the Kalinga Relief Fund. Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant made it through that earthquake with no problems. PG&E says some movement was recorded at the plant, but no damage. Oil companies still assessing the damage to their equipment tonight. These storage tanks near Kalinga leaked, but the dikes around them caught all the spill.
The quake knocked the California aqueduct out of alignment near Five Point. That's a few miles from Colinga. The aqueduct is a major source of water in the valley. The state water board says that the water's flowing all right, but that problem is going to need to be fixed eventually. And tonight, the only people who can get into Colinga are emergency crews and residents. State routes 198, 33, and 145 are passable, but they're only open to restricted traffic. And the same goes for a country road called Jane Avenue. The highway patrol in Fresno says it dropped four inches because of the quake. There were some ripples on I-5, but nothing major, and it is open to traffic tonight. The quake has caused a problem you might not have heard about yet. It has forced the cancellation of a tradition in Colinga the annual Horned Toad Race. It was scheduled for this weekend, but now the statewide event will have to be scrapped. This isn't the first time the Toad Race has been put on the back burner. In 1978, it had to be canceled.